Hello everyone, my name is Avery Williams and I'm a technical marketing engineer at Microchip. Welcome to a short product demonstration on our VectorBlocks Accelerator software development kit for machine learning inferencing using Microchip's Polarfire FPGAs. Now the VectorBlocks software development kit enables convolutional neural networks to be run on our Polarfire FPGAs. The SDK supports neural networks developed using many popular frameworks like CAFE, TensorFlow, MXNEX, and more. The SDK also includes tutorials for various frameworks and example projects supported in the Polarfire video kit. Traditional FPGA flow consists of writing code in RTL, synthesizing it, placing a routing of resources, followed by programming the docs hex file on the chip. Every time the code is changed, the steps have to be repeated again. Using vector blocks, neural networks can load and update without changing the FPGA hardware design and the network behavior controlled with C or C++ code. In this product demonstration, we have a Polarfire video kit, a Linux PC, and an HDMI monitor. The SDK can be installed in Linux or in Windows using a virtual machine. The camera in the video kit is used for video capture while the inferred stream is output from the HDMI to a monitor. Now the Polarfire video kit is an ideal platform for evaluating low power inferencing. Let me tell you why. The kit contains two 4K capable MIPI cameras, HDMI ports, and an FMC slot to expand capabilities to demonstrate interfaces like USB, DisplayPort, Ethernet, Color Express, and SDI. Now the VectorBlocks design flow has five simple steps. Step one, convert custom scene in into a binary large object or blob for short. Step two, verify conversion via an inbuilt simulator. Step three, program the Polarfire FPJ in the video kit with the included hardware design. Step four, write embedded code to load models. And finally, step five, write the firmware and blob into the spy flash of the video kit. Now here's how the SDK folder looks like. The tutorial directory has many examples of models supported in different frameworks. In this demonstration, we will go through the CAFE directory and run SqueezeNet 1.1. As you can see in the script, there are four main components, the downloader, the model converter, the VINX generator, and the simulator. So the downloader fetches a trained SqueezeNet model from OpenVINO, opens model zoo. The model converter removes training layers not used for inferencing. This reduces the resources required by the FPGA for inferencing. The VINIX generator then converts the CNN from a floating point 32-bit representation to an integer 8 representation to output a VINIX file. And finally, the simulator inputs the VINIX file along with the sample image for inferencing. The simulator confirms a successful model conversion and also outputs standard probabilities for a golden image along with a latency estimate. The hardware design for the video kit is provided along with the VectorBlocks SDK. The design converts the kit into a smart camera with an HDMI output. The core VectorBlocks IP, aka the AI engine, receives a planner RGB values of the video stream after pre-processing and output inference results. Post-processing is then managed by a software inspired processor. The example project is programmed into the kit by opening the project in Liberal Software IDE and clicking Run Program Action. The example project also includes pre-converted CNN loaded into the spy flash, which can be viewed by opening the design, initialization data, and memory tools. As you can see, under the spy flash tab, MobileNet version 1 and TinyOLO version 3 are already loaded into the non-volatile storage. Each entry has a start and an end address, which we will point to while writing the embedded code. Now, Soft Console is Microchip's open source based software development environment based on C, C++. Using Soft Console, we open the main C file, which tells the processor to cycle through different CNNs. If we look at line 297, the model shown is a tiny YOLO version 3. The API takes in the display name, the starting address of the model in spy flash, the input image size, which in this case is 416 by 416 pixels, the post processing being used, in this case is a tiny YOLO version 3, the number of times the display is updated, checksum, and the FPS limiter. The next steps involves loading the SqueezeNet 1.1 docs hex file generated in step 1 into the spy flash tool and noting its starting address. The main C file also needs to be modified accordingly. We need to add a new entry for SqueezeNet update the starting address and remove the checksum value for the time being. The window size and post processing used remain the same 
as used in a mobile net use case. The last step involves writing the CNNs and associated firmware into the flash. After the hex files are written to the spy flash, power is cycled on the demo board and the startup routine begins which copies the network models from the spy flash to the DDR. When the image sensor on the demo board provides a frame, the demo design RISC-V processor provides a core vector block with the starting address of the network model and then issues it a start command. Corvax Blocks then performs its inferencing operation on the frame using the model it was pointed to. Now the polar fire is going to enable two to three more power efficient inferencing for a similar performance output when compared to other mid-range FPGAs in the market. This makes the vector block solution on the polar fire FPGAs suitable for applications that require low power consumption and small enclosures. So let's wrap things up with a quick summary. So Vectorblocks enables easy development of machine learning algorithms provided by a software abstraction over traditional FPGA design flow. By utilizing Polifier's low power fabric, inferencing is highly power efficient and suitable for applications operating in thermally constrained environments. Visit our website and write us for a quick chat and feel free to ask any questions and come stop by our booth.